I didn't always want to be a nurse. Um, I had gone overseas to do mission work in Africa and um, I got inspired and I wanted to come back home and do something um, incredible and so I thought nursing. There was a lot of rumor circulating about the, the shutdown and that's what they started as. You know, we, we heard little things here and there about, about it shutting down and, you know, it was kind of among the class and then, um, then our president came in to the room one day and pretty much told us, you know, that we needed to shut our mouths about this because it was just rumors and the more we talk about it, you know, the more um, rumors are going to get spread and nothing's happening with the campus and nothing, that's not something we need to worry about and we need to focus on our classes and not what's, you know, what is going on outside of the classes and we need to be supportive of our school and stand behind our school and um, they didn't give us a reason to. <laughs> We didn't have a reason to stand behind our school because our school wasn't standing behind us. So they gave us three options. One was to transfer to a different location, Everest location, um, which was an hour or more away, not plausible. Two, we would finish out our program, all our debts would remain there, remain on us. Or three, we could opt out. And I decided I wanted to opt out. And um, I tried. I filled out the paper and instead of taking that, I was pulled into the office by um, our president, Ruth, and um, another woman. And in there, they were extremely nice at first and they said, um, Mallory, like, why, why are you doing this? Like, honey, you're so close and you, you know, look how hard you worked for this. And, you know, I swear for 10 minutes just tried everything they could to get me to stay. And I'm a very persistent person and very determined. And when I have my mind set on something, that's it. And I told her, um, I'm sorry, but this isn't the way I want to go. I've been lied to from the get-go, and I won't stand behind a school that won't stand behind me. I won't. And this, this is better for my, for my life. And if this is an option that you've provided to me, I'm going to take it. So as soon as those words came out of my mouth, it was a 180. It switched. Um, her face became cold. She sat back in her chair and said, okay. Well, if you want to do this, then you, you're going to have to write a paper. You're going to have to state why you're doing this, and you're probably going to get denied anyway. So you might as well just go to all your classes, keep doing what you're doing, because it's not going to work for you. You're not going to get out. And I took that with a grain of salt, <laughs> and I wrote my paper. I explained everything, why I was opting out, the things that were wrong with Everest, what I thought needed to be changed, just to put my little opinion in there, and what I expected. And within a week or two, I got a denial letter while I was sitting in class, um, and, and that was it. What I would say to the Department of Education is if you're going to give us three choices, we should be given three choices. We were told to pick this option. We were flat out told, you should choose this, choose this one. And there were a couple of us that said, well, no, we're not signing this. We're not signing anything because we don't trust you. <laughs> we don't have a reason to trust you. And so the few of us that, um, that wanted to know more information, 
were taken into the office one by one we were taken into the office and we were told there will be no way that you will get your money back and if you decide that you know this is the way that you're going to go then you know you have to know that this isn't going to happen anyway for you and you need to sign this